Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Dungeon Raiders from Phil Walker Harding um, which is published by Devere although this game has been sent to me by Cosmos Games. Thank you very much for the review copy um, and I assume that they have some sort of connection with this company. Um, so this seems to be a game about dungeons. Explore a dungeon filled with monsters, traps and treasure. Okay, oh, that sounds good, right? Um, apparently this is a reprint. I'm unaware of the original, but um, somebody informed me it's a fact a reprint, so this could be exciting. Um, yeah, and let's have a look and see what's inside or around the box. So first things first, um, the box itself is lovely. This font is all raised, so it's lovely and kind of smooth on your hand, as are the pictures, and then the rest is just kind of a nice box. It's a small box, it's a good size. Um, it looks like a book very small book which is emphasized by its spine which I think makes it look very much like a book um, and as it says here it's for player ages, um, ages 8 and up for 3 to 5 players and it takes about 20 minutes to play um, already as you can see it's actually popping out of its box and I just literally took the shrink off it so I wouldn't have to do it on, on TV so we'll see just how this works um, let's have a look at the back and we'll see what's here and more raised stuff Characters look really fun, don't they? They look like they're having a great time. So join a group of brave adventurers, explore a dungeon filled with monsters, traps and treasures. So we can see this is going to be a card game from the back. So it's cool, there's a how to play scanner. Hmm, okay, cool. Um, and yeah, this looks good. Okay, let's, let's see what's inside the box. I do like the orange, actually. I think it's an interesting color. Uh, now, so, ooh, it's gonna go this way. So first things first, rule book. How big is the rulebook? Not very big. We'll have a look inside it. So there's a summary of the game. I like that very much that it starts with that. Then it tells you the content. So there's lots of cards. This is entirely a card game. Um, how to set up the game, level setup. Um, it's made of kind of, it's good paper, it's good quality. It's not too shiny either. So you guys might be able to notice for a change. Um, how you play the game then? You go, so obviously we're gonna go through rooms and we resolve them, treasure room, monster room. I wonder will it be a little like munchkin? Mm, I don't know and resolving a monster room oh the monster pictures look good I like all the illustrations with it there's not a ton of text either so this is kind of easy reading resolving a vault resolving a trap and the way they're headed means it should be easy to look something up if you need to check it out resolving a boss and then we're pretty much now at the end look one more page there's the end of the game there's a tactical variant um I always think variants are a really nice idea to it'll appeal to more players and the back page has mm, just a how to play thing and a cool looking monster. All right, so first things first, tokens. Oh, how many? Oh, we have two sheets of tokens. These are really nice sheets. Woo, it's lovely grainy. Battlestore Galactica boards, and I've done this the wrong way around. I always pop them out from the back. I think the tag doesn't catch as often. Um, it's lovely thick cardboard anyway. Um, and they're very pretty tokens. I quite like them, the little X. They're good, yeah, they're really solid, they feel really good too. Okay, we're not going to pop all of those out because that would be madness. Ooh, the box is small. Okay, what do we get? Okay, so we got one bag, obviously, to put our tokens that are gold in. And then th after this, this is a card tray. So we we'll turn it sideways now. Ooh, so mix, okay, so this is easy to put it away, easy to take out. I getcha, I getcha. This is a nice touch because a lot of the times card games and boxes don't get holders or anything like that. You know, you just have to put them in. Okay, so next test. Does it have one of these tabs around it? It looks like it does. Yes, high quality games. I believe in tabs. And look at this one first because it looks like it's got a monster on the top and I'm all curious to see what the artwork looks like because it's really nice on the cover. Okay, so we have a Sphinx. Is it shiny for you guys? Just a bit, yeah. So it's got hit points depending on the number of players. That's really good. That means it's adjust for the player count. You get some sort of reward, there's a house, there's a man with a thing, stupid about a tax collector. Okay, minus three money, he takes your money. A golem. So you need to, all of these, it looks like you need to fight them in different ways. Which is really interesting. There's a wolf pack. Oh, if you have a torch, you, they run away. Oh, this is how you make them run away. Okay, cool. Oh, I love Medusa. The art is gorgeous, isn't it? It's very kind of cheery. I, li I like this kind of fun dungeon feel. Mega dragon. I could just go through these all day. So is there anything else cool than Necromancer, a vampire? Yeah, the art is very, it really does remind me a little bit of Munchkin. Um, very cool, we can explore. So these must be our character sheets, our character sent, so a knight. Yeah, an explorer, you can be a warrior, a wizard. 
He does have a staff with a knob on the end. Not really, he's got a glowing thing and has a thief. Okay, cool. So then what is this stuff? It's a treasure map, but it looks like it. These must be treasures, so there's vaults, so you get different things for the numbers. I quite like this, this looks like fun. Um, spike trap, ah, oh, bad things. More, there's treasures with monies. So I assume you can use your money to buy stuff. Oh, here we go, dragon. Ah, impressive stuff. Yeah, so as you can see, this is quite fun. There's a blob. It looks like a quick um, and really entertaining game. I'm dying to see how the rules will play of it now. That will determine much. So what's in the other deck? Because, you know, you don't always want to play a big heavy game the whole time, right? Sometimes you want something small to warm up with or something just to play with your friends for fun. Because this goes up to a good number of players. So that works out well. So what do we get? More torches. A crystal ball, excellent. Oh, there's a lot of crystal balls, okay. Swords, keys, doors. Obviously these must be, the doors were knocking down. Ooh, J numbers with lightning, good stuff. <laughs> Obviously these must be used for combat, for fighting things. Yeah, so that deck was not as exciting as the others, but probably far more functional. So yeah, so that's everything that's in the Dungeon Raiders box. Does it seem like the most original idea in the world? No, but it looks incredibly fun. Um, I'm very eager to try that out, more than I was when I looked at the box, because there's quite a lot of these, you know, one deck dungeon games and stuff like that that you can play with cards, but this one seems like it's had a lot of attention to detail put into it, and I think that makes it extra, extra special. I really look forward to playing it. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not think about doing something nice, like liking this video or subscribing to the channel or telling a friend I exist. And until next time, um, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, hopefully unboxing more things and maybe you'll join me. Um, so until next time, take care. Bye-bye.